Welcome to Found Sound. Today we're going to start with some dancing. Do what I do. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. You're the one, my darling. Clap your hands, hold press wagon. Clap your hands, hold press wagon. Clap your hands. Let's try it again. Try and sing along this time while we dance. Here we go. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. Circle to the left, hold press wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. Circle to the right, hold press wagon. You're the one, my darling. Clap your hands, hold press wagon. matching spoons in their house, or at least similar in shape and size. Go ahead and go gather your spoons. First things first, we're gonna practice how to play the spoons without any spoons. Just to get used to the motion of going up and down with one hand and holding the other hand on top. So let's try that. I'll sing a song and everyone hold their left hand out above their left leg and use their right hand as kind of like a paddle between the two. So we're just going to tap the beat like this. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Great job! Let's try that one more time, and this time, you sing along with me. Here we go, circle to the left, hold brass wagon, circle to the left, hold brass wagon, circle to the left, hold brass wagon, you're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon, circle to the right, hold brass wagon, circle to the right, hold brass wagon, you're the one, my darling. Awesome! Let's learn how to hold our spoon. So everyone, find your spoons. So take one spoon in your left hand and make a fist with your right hand with your thumb on top of all your fingers. So for the first spoon, we're gonna put it, so it's like you're going to scoop up some cereal. You're gonna put it in underneath your thumb. Just hold it on top of all your fingers, underneath your thumb, and curl your back fingers around the back of the spoon. The next thumb, or the next spoon, is going to be back to back with our first spoon so it's going to be facing downwards you couldn't hold any cereal with it and you're going to stick that in between your pointer finger and your middle finger back to back with the first spoon and curl all your fingers around the outside of the, the edges of the spoon so that they can't fall out so once you have this there should be a little bit of space in between your two spoons and you should be able to shake it around a little bit it should be nice nice and sturdy because you're not going to drop the spoons, right? So then we're going to do with our hand, just like what we did um, with our spoons, just like what we did with our hands while we sang our song. We're going to go down and up. Try that a couple times. See if you can get a sound. If you're not getting a sound, that means that there's no space between your spoons. You need to have a little space so that when you hit it, they can hit against each other. If they're already touching, then it makes no sound. Like this. Right? So make sure there's a little bit of space in between your spoons and try it again. Try it with me. Here we go. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. Circle to the left, hold brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon. Circle to the right, hold brass wagon. Circle to the right. Old brass wagon, you're the one, my darling. Good job! You're playing the spoons for the first time. 
If your spoons fell out of your hands a little bit, that's okay. Let's readjust our spoons. So make a fist, put the first spoon right underneath your thumb and hold it in with all the rest of your fingers. And your second spoon faces back to back like they're mad at each other and goes in between your first finger and your middle finger. We make sure there's a little space in between and then we can try it out. Let's try again. Here we go, circle to the left, old frost wagon, circle to the left, old frost wagon, circle to the left, old frost wagon, you're the one by coming. Circle to the right, old frost wagon, circle to the right, old frost wagon, circle to the right, old frost wagon, you're the one by coming. Good job, if you don't have the hang of it quite yet, that's okay. We're gonna do some practicing. Everyone get your spoons ready. Let's review one more time. So we put our first spoon underneath our thumb and curl our back fingers around it. And we put our second spoon face down in between our first two fingers with a little space in between. We can make a little bit of sound. So get your spoons ready. We are going to read a book about a train. And whenever that train goes chugga 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 choo choo, we are gonna use our spoons to make the train sound. So the, the book we're going to be reading is called All Aboard by Benedict Bathwell. The Runaway Train. Duffy Driver overslept. Everyone was waiting at the train station for the little red train. When Duffy was ready to start, he saw an old lady running down the platform. I'll help you, he said but he forgot to put the brake on and the little train set off down the track and it went chugga 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 choo 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 Duffy saw a lorry stop Duffy shouted I must catch up with the runaway train jump in cried the lorry driver and off they went after the little red train and it went Chugga 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 choo 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 until they came to a traffic jam. Duffy saw a boat. Ahoy there, Duffy shouted. I must catch up with the runaway train. All aboard, cried the boatman, and off they all went after the little red train. And it went chugga 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 choo choo. Choo-choo! Until the river turned away from the railway. Duffy saw some bicycles. Help, Duffy shouted. I must catch up with the runaway train. Jump on, cried the cyclists, and off they all went after the little red train. And it went chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga, choo-choo! Choo-choo! Until they ran into a flock of sheep. Duffy saw some ponies. Whoa, Duffy shouted. I must catch up with the runaway train. Up you come, cried the riders, and off they all went after the little red train. And it went chugga 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 choo 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 until the ponies could go no further. Duffy saw a tractor. Hello, Duffy shouted. I must catch up with the runaway train. Get on then, cried the farmer, and off they all went after the little red train. And it went chugga 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 choo 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 until they were spotted by a helicopter pilot. My last chance, gasped Duffy. I must catch up with the runaway train. Climb in quick, said the pilot. And Duffy climbed in while the lorry driver, the boatman, the cyclists, the riders, and the farmer all stood and watched. As Duffy caught up with the runaway train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Choo, choo. And Duffy Driver drove the little red train into the station at Sandy on Sea 
and spent a lovely, lazy afternoon on the beach before he had to drive back home again. The end. Nice job using your spoons for those train sounds. Now that we're all practiced up, let's use our spoons in some music. First, let's review one last time how to hold our spoons. So we're gonna put our first spoon face up under our thumb, and our second spoon face down, and our next finger underneath our pointer finger. Have a little space. Give it a try. Let's try keeping the beat. Here we go.